And now, The View from Washington, an explanation of U.S. policy. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton has spoken out about religious persecution in Iran. In Iran, authorities continue to repress Sufi Muslims, evangelical Christians, Jews, Baha'is, uh, Sunnis, Ahmadis, and others who do not share the government's religious views. The regime's oppression of some of Iran's minority religious groups has received well-deserved international attention and condemnation. But Shia Muslims who do not share regime-sanctioned religious views are also subjected to intimidation, harassment, and imprisonment. The most prominent is Ayatollah Khazemeni Borujerdi, a 53-year-old Shia cleric renowned for his outspoken support for the separation of religion from politics and advocacy of human rights. In 2006, he was brutally arrested along with dozens of supporters, tried in a grossly unfair proceeding, and eventually sentenced to 11 years for crimes against national security. Human rights monitors say that Ayatollah Borujerdi has been tortured in prison and denied adequate medical care. The violations of the Iranian people's right to religious freedom expose the regime's blatant disregard for international and Iranian law. Ayatollah Borujerdi and all Iranians languishing in prison because they follow the dictates of their conscience should be released immediately. That was The View from Washington, an explanation of U.S. policy.